A lot of people talk really negatively about Marvel movies because they're trying to cram so much social justice down everyone's throats. I guess I've never really cared that much about it because I, I really haven't been much into DC or Marvel movies in general. I mean, I got into it kind of when I was a kid, maybe when I was a teenager as well, but it's something that I grew out of. The whole superhero thing just kind of bores me for the most part. I mean, I can get into some of the classics like the Christopher Reeve version of Superman. You know, Superman and Superman 2. Superman 3 was just really bad. It went beyond uh, campy and it just was just dumb. But, uh... And I can enjoy watching those for the nostalgia of them, but... I don't really, really enjoy them. I mean, if something like that came out now, I would just laugh at it, right? You know. But I like some campy stuff now. So if there's a DC or Marvel movie that's campy, I can likely get more into it. You know, I can dig it. Make it ridiculous. Make it silly. Make it... Make it a comedy. Yeah, I can get into that. But to try to make it serious? Yeah, I just don't understand. To me, that's something that kids and teenagers should get into. That's kind of something that should be marketed for kids and teenagers. But I'm the guy that fast-forwards through the fight scenes in a lot of movies. I fast-forward through the battle scenes in the Lord of the Rings movies. I definitely fast-forward through the battle scenes in the Transformers movies. I, I really don't care about epic battles. Ugh. I mean, especially if a movie can't really stand on its own outside the battle scenes, I think it's a crap movie. You know, give me some UFC or boxing. Give me something that isn't pre-packaged and choreographed. You know, give me even some world star hip-hop fights. You know, hey, I can dig that. You know, give me something that isn't about the hero fighting against incredible odds. You know, just no, just no. There are exceptions, though, obviously. I mean... Well, maybe not obviously, but you know, I, I get into, I liked the Mad Max, the new Mad Max movie. Though that's mainly about action scenes, it's not quite as much about fight scenes directly. And a lot of the fight scenes themselves were kind of short, but it's very, very action-y, so you know, there is an exception to that. I mean, it was so over the top on everything, sometimes to the point of being laughable. Like how about that scene where some of the peasants are trying to catch water with a wicker basket. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just over-the-top silly at that point. But it, you know, it was still good. It was enjoyable. So as I said, you know, it's not all about the fight scenes. It's just about over-the-top action-y everything, you know. I enjoyed the Suicide Squad movie. But it was pretty campy, which is why I liked it. And it's less superhero-y than a lot of others. The more dark they try to make superhero movies, the less I usually like them. The realities and morbidity of life is already dark enough for me. I've never been able to get through an entire Game of Thrones episode. Just not into that. I've never even attempted to watch The Walking Dead. I have no interest in that at all. There's generally three types of movies that just bore the heck out of me. There's the superhero movies, there's the zombie movies, and there are the vampire movies. Yeah, no thanks. Just, it bores me to pieces. It's, it, they've been overdone. Way, way, way overdone. There are so many other types of plots that they could, they, they could do. There's so many great books that they could base movies on. And why do they keep going back to these same things? So sometimes when people complain about there being too much social justice crammed into superhero movies, I just have to laugh. The cramming of an ideology is really the least of my worries in a lot of newer movies. You know, give me something funny, give me something campy, give me something that's entertaining. Stop cramming choreographed fighting in my face. I mean, I might as well, hey, let's, let's watch professional wrestling, yay! Yeah, no thanks. And with all the new ways that movies get filmed, much of the fight scenes are like watching a video game. Hey, let's watch someone play a video game. Isn't this fun? Look, he's, he's, he's getting the, the villain. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. 
It's not really that interesting. Ooh, look at the new camera technique. They can follow a laser blast from the gun to its target or, or an arrow, right? It's a laser blast. That's always, that's always funny. Pew, 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 pew. It's like, um, you wouldn't, you don't see a laser move across like that. It doesn't work that way, but you know. But yes, let's make the camera motion look like it's on a corkscrew roller coaster on an invisible rail, right? I know to me it's just a bunch of fripperies. Is a battle really telling a story? Well, I suppose it can, but it's not a very deep story. And that's one of the reasons why I prefer watching real fights. You know, maybe maybe that's a little morbid, I don't know, but I sure find it more interesting. You don't really know what's going to happen. There's not a hero. There's not an actual villain. It's just a fight, you know? Anyway. Ooh.